welcome to Strug Free Cocktails. I just like spit on myself. <laughs> Where I have already struggled, so you don't have to. Five years ago, I moved to the city and I was a hot mess. After five years of waiting tables, bartending, and making all the mistakes, I'm here now to show you what I figured out, one cocktail at a time. I'm Elise Taff, and this is Strug Free Cocktails. Today, we are going to be talking about the martini. What, what is a martini? How, how do you order a martini? The only people who know how to correctly order a martini are 60 year old men, James Bond, and other bartenders. It's the truth. So you know what I was thinking? I was thinking we would hit the streets and we would ask the people. Let's ask the people what they know. Say you want a martini, how, and I'm your bartender. Okay. How would you order it from the bartender? What would you say? I would say, hello. <laughs> um, I would say, may I have a gin martini please? But do you like specify anything? Are you like? Um. Uh, shaken. Um, I honestly don't know. How do you order a martini? <laughs> oh, ow. Oh. Guys, the struggle is real. No one knows how to order a martini. I am gonna teach you how to make a martini at home and how to order one in a bar like a baller. And everybody's gonna be like, oh my God, you're so cool. They're like so impressed with you, even the bartender. If the bartender's cute, you guys can make out later. When you are ordering a martini, there are three things that you need to know. One, gin or vodka. Some people just order martinis thinking that it's just gonna automatically be one or the other. Nuh-uh, like you have to specify. So choose your poison. Who are you? Are you a gin? Are you a vodka? Are you a summer? Are you an autumn? I don't know. I am the bartender. I don't know the answer until you tell me. Two, up or on the rocks. Up is gonna be in a martini glass. That's what up means. And on the rocks is in a rocks glass. Like pretend this is a drink and not olives. Trace, three, olives or a twist. When you order a martini, you need to choose a garnish. It's so important. I know it sounds silly, but it's not. It's serious. Garnishes are serious, guys. Or, little known fact, you can also choose a cocktail onion, which makes your martini a Gibson. So, okay, so I chilled my martini glass. So I'm gonna toss this. So now it's all nice and cold, because you want it to be cold. Um, so today, I'm making a vodka martini garnished with olives. Three ounces of vodka. Okay. And then if you, Want to measure the vermouth? I would do like a half ounce. Fill this puppy up with some ice. It doesn't have to be filled all the way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm gonna shake the crap out of this thing. You want to shake vodka for martinis and usually you want to stir gin because you're gonna bruise the alcohol by shaking something without citrus. That is the bar rule. So because gin has like a little more nuances, you know, the juniper. Mm -hmm. You wanna taste it, right? But with vodka, vodka kinda tastes like nothing. So you wanna shake the shit out of it so it's easy to drink. Okay, engage the cork. See, look, you can tell when it's really cold when it's like, what? Okay. So we're gonna strain this puppy. Oh my God. Okay. And then we're gonna garnish with trace olives. You usually wanna use odd numbers with garnishes. I don't know why, it's just like, maybe it's a witch thing. I don't know. Okay, and this is gonna overflow. My glasses are Vita sized, sorry y'all. Woo, okay. And that's a martini, you do, I just made one. You can do it too, you can make it at home. It's so simple. So now you know how to order a martini in a restaurant, you know how to make one at home, so have a stroke free day. Go make yourself a cocktail. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Click on the link below to get to eastdrugs.com and it'll take you to the full recipe. And also, please subscribe because that's, that's what I need. I need you to subscribe. Okay, bye.